Oh, there's nothing like releasing a video covering all the new boat and ocean additions, only for Clay to go to add more to boats and the oceans, am I right? Not only that, though, they might have sneakily and majorly buffed a significant portion of the actual Moon Key Island itself, which might just be my biggest personal takeaway at the end of the day. So let's discuss. And we begin with the autopiloting of boats, everyone. Or should I say, nautopiloting. And no, I'm not kidding. With the introduction of the Nauto Pilot Kit and Beacon here, things just got technical out there on the high seas. Well, following a trip down to the ruins, of course, as we've made history once again with one more four material craft, as well as one that requires a trinket. But as I understand things with my limited time with them, it appears that one is a portable craft, with the other being an actual placeable structure, so plan accordingly. Turn on the beacon, drop it wherever you please, as it doesn't actually need to be on a boat, mind you. Place down the Nautopilot itself, pair it to the beacon, get to sailing, and the rest is pretty bonkers to see, if I'm honest. Now, I am running into the issue of, you know, having my tailing boat run into me, so we might have to get good at all this with some practice. But as far as limitations go, I would imagine we're going to start seeing them come four, maybe five boats, and I think speed is a factor here. That said, I will say, I'm surprised about just how far we can actually get from actual Nauto pilots, so make notes. They're very cool. And folk like Phil Lips here are already using them in very interesting ways. Perpetual motion ways. Do bear in mind that we need to have one beacon for every one autopilot as we can only pair one up with the other. But stuff like this is indeed possible now if you dare not mess it up. And I think that's the kicker. While it doesn't look too hard, it is going to cost you. And while it's neat that Phil Lips here has made an automatic boat circle bridge thing to the Lunar Island, I can definitely see many people not even bothering. To me, these Nautopilot things may just be Clay's way of having us have bigger boats for more storage on the fly. But we'll see. And speaking of more stuff, that unnatural portal on the Moon Key Island itself seems to spew out tons of loot now. Well, initially that is. It seems to have this new portal event that appears to drop one banana bush, one monkey tail, two palm scale saplings, a powder monkey itself, and then some basic resources. However, I think this happens only once. Naturally once, that is. As we can now force this event with moon gleams from the moon storms. Now this is pretty amazing as long as we can handle the powder monkey onslaught that we're going to be facing. And it makes bananas, reeds, and more just incredibly renewable come a late game. And yeah, that is the downside. This is going to have to be a late game farming. But yes, the portal will still be spewing out its usual loot every now and then too, and you can even adjust how much it does so in the settings. So it's good stuff. However, this might be up there as one of the better changes as well. The Battle Paddle Buffs. Remember now. These things now drop via pirate captains during pirate raids, so they are farmable, and at 51 damage a hit for 100 attacks, that's actually pretty flippin' great. That said, this likely means that pirate captains themselves are also gonna be buffed. But damage isn't everything here, as the paddle has also been tweaked as an or too. They are now 10% stronger than driftwood ores instead of 10% weaker, and might, just might, have a bit more rows out of them. However, I'm not 100% sure on that one, as this is all still new. But it's all really, really good. But some other notes before we go would be how palm scale trees on the Moon Key Island now drop palm scale saplings if fully grown, make it for far easier renewability and transplanting, mind you. Boat bumpers will now no longer block us from actually building upon them, meaning we do gain a wee bit of boat space back. However, with them Nauto pilots, rudders, and cannons now, things are definitely getting tight on our nautical circles. 
But lastly, ocean trawlers now have a much smaller hitbox, so they're not gonna push us when we actually place them, and trust me, this is a bigger deal than it might sound like. And they will also now cook whatever fish they have inside them, if they happen to have been cooked themselves. Now does this matter? I really don't know. But it was a main thing that Clay highlighted, so I did too. And there you have it everyone. Our first hotfix of note for the Curse of Moon Key update here. Now don't forget to look over the bug fixes, as they're actually kinda neat. As well as note that Powder Monkeys should now have more sound design behind them, so that's even neater. But thanks for watching, folks. Well, wishes to all. Nauto pilot your way on your Nauto circles. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.